Hello, welcome to my workshop. My name is Chris Pine. I, like many others out there, as I'm sure if you're watching YouTube at all, you are seeing quite a few videos about the X-Carve. Inventables contacted me several months ago and asked if I would like to evaluate a version of their machine, their CNC machine, called the X-Carve. In exchange for my evaluation, they would give me the machine to keep and to use here in my shop. Of course, like many other people, I said yes, and it has been a lot of fun putting it together and getting it to work uh, for the first time. I have got a lot to learn about CNC, no doubt about that. I did get it together, as you can see. I, over a long period of time, I did pieces here and pieces there, so this was not a straight-through assembly by any means. I did manage to do the job. I think any of you as woodworkers, you have enough mechanical inclination that this would not be a problem whatsoever. The instructions are very good. Uh, they have an online uh, place where you go to their website and it shows you uh, the instructions to put the machine together step by step. The customer support that I received was, was just excellent. I had come upon, I was short a few pieces. I put together a list, emailed them within a couple days. It was in my hands here to continue my assembly of the X-Carve. Uh, just a few little things that I'll point out, and some of these are in common with other people who have put the X-Carve together. Some of the things that I found, they also found, and I will point those out. At As I did not shoot video of when I got the project, or the boxes for the project, you can see that it comes packaged very well. There's, a, of course, a packing list here of all the different pieces and parts, and they come in different boxes for different uh, sections of the assembly, and it was very well packed. As many people have pointed out, uh, if you've watched some of the other assembly videos, um, these belts that are made with the teeth on them in order to uh, engage into the pulleys with uh, teeth, um, which moves the uh, different axis of the machine. On the front side there is this screw that allows you to adjust tension. Well if you go to the back side of the machine they have not put that screw in they simply have you tighten down this screw here into the rail and it holds it snug. In order to keep these belts from slipping I did what someone else recommended and zip tied the ends of these together to hold them snug. My suggestion, perhaps, maybe a little naive, but is to put one of these bolts on both sides of the belt mechanism. I think that would be a good addition. Um, it is not necessary, perhaps, ultimately, but I think it would just be a little more secure in doing it that way. Another very brief, quick thing that I'd like to mention is the instructions for putting this belt on the motor axis, the Z axis, did not instruct you to do that until way later. And probably had I followed the instructions a little closer, I would have been better off. However, I got to the end of this and I had to disconnect <laughs> uh, the motor again in order to get this on. So you might want to keep that in mind when you're installing these different pieces that this belt's going to ultimately go on there, so as you're bolting things down, keep in mind you're going to have to take them back loose again to get the belt on. One thing in the instructions, which overall were very well done, I did notice, and it led to a little bit of confusion initially, is it talks about if you're going to have the option of having these limit switches on each axis, that on the rail for the y-axis here, there this slot on the outside should be on the top of the uh, assembly. So that's to allow later on, you find out, to put in this screw, which that limit switch will initiate up against. Well, it says that in the instructions. However, the pictures show that this is in the down position. So there's a little bit of confusion in the instructions in the sense that a couple things. Inventables is using the pictures for the assembly from the smaller of the two machines. This is the larger, and it also shows pictures of doing the exact opposite of what the instructions say. So 
I would suggest, if anything, to get that picture updated. Ultimately, it was not a problem, and I figured it out before assembly. But that was one thing I did notice. As to the wiring, I was able to accomplish this, and if I'm able to accomplish the wiring, anybody can. Uh, it was fairly uneventful. Uh, there is one part where you put together several of the ground wires for the limit switches here, and you also put one of the uh, wires for the spindle into a single connector. It instructs you to do that. I would advise probably you should probably put the wiring together into a single wire before it goes into that connector because it was a very snug fit in there. And that was the only thing that I struggled with on the wiring. Overall, I think as, as well as others have shared that these connections to me seem somewhat fragile and they need to be supported. Obviously not the way I have it here currently. When I build a permanent location for my X-Carve, I will then locate this in a manner which will help support the wiring in a better fashion. But overall, this was fairly straightforward. I was pretty excited when I fired up the X-Carve and it actually ran for the most part. I had a couple small problems that I had to correct, had a couple loose wires, but for the most part, it went together and actually functioned. I was very excited. So overall, I'm very happy to have been given the opportunity to be gifted an X-Carve from Inventables. Thank you so much to Inventables for doing that. I really do appreciate it and I'm going to enjoy very much learning to use the machine and using it in future projects here in my workshop. Thank you so much for watching. It has been a while since my last video and I apologize for that. Uh, I hope to be getting back to that very soon. I know I've said that before, but I really do. I will be having a work-related trip here in the next couple weeks, so uh, it won't be for at least two more weeks, but I look forward to getting back and doing some videos. I've been watching yours, and I've been enjoying them very much, the people out there that are putting out videos. So until next time, God bless, and we'll see you. Have a great week.